Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time stopping by, my name's Heather, and I'm happy that you're here today because I wanted to share with you my spring slash Easter pin board. I've been doing them a little bit smaller when I do them at all because I get worried about the pin post. I know I've said that before. So I do get worried about the pin post being bent or getting weak and wobbly. So I try to just limit what I'm actually putting on a pin board anymore. And eventually we'll get through my entire collection of everything. But until then, I just wanted to share a little bit at a time. I hope that is okay with you guys because I do have some really great ones and I'm happy to share them with you. And I think we should just turn this around and get started. Okay, so here is an overview of that board. I'm trying to keep it um, propped up on this chair here to make sure that I don't get any extra glare than needed. But this is an overview of everything that I have together. So we're just gonna start with the card in the middle. This is just a card I honestly found at the Dollar Tree, my favorite place you guys know. Joy blooms at Easter and I loved the colors and I loved the big bold designs on it. Thought it was super cute and bold and bright and just absolutely perfect. So let's just move in. So starting at the top here, this mom pin, I know that has nothing to do with springtime or Easter, but it kind of fits because this is one of my favorites I really did want to add. I know I've shared this before, but it's really special to me. And you cannot pass up all that gorgeous pink glitter. So let's start at the left. This is Happy Easter 2007. It's a cute little pin on pin element. I love Pluto's face with his little ear cocked up to the side. And I love the design on Mickey's Easter egg. Let me see if I can get it closer so you can see exactly. Let me see if I can get you any closer. How cute is that? I thought it was so adorable. This is actually a um, numbered pen, so it's five out of five of that year's collection, and it is a limited edition of 1500. I'm gonna take you straight over to the right. On the other side, you'll notice it is a pen pretty similar. However, this is Mickey and Minnie. He's carrying the cute little basket this time instead of holding the egg, and she has the egg with the beautiful little castle design on it. This is pen four of five and also a 1500 LE. Looking over here to the right, check out how fabulous Daisy is. This is just a Disney licensed pen. It's not an actual pen trading quality pen. Um, or pin trading type of pin, excuse me. Uh, I don't know if anything like this is tradable at the parks, but however, I just wanted her for my collection because look at her, I mean, come on. Platform shoes, jeans, and she just has it going on. Super cute, love the flowers on there, and perfect for spring. Moving down, we have a March 3rd, 2001 Easter pin featuring Goofy, and I wanna say, oops, sorry for that. I wanna say, let's take a peek. Oh, yep, Tokyo Disneyland 2001. These are really strange, like the quality and the type of pen that they had back then. It almost has like that really old tarnished look to it, but that's just the color of the pen and I thought it was super, super cute and I wanted to share that. I love that he's in his little bunny costume. It almost reminds me of A Christmas Story. It is just hilarious and it's perfect that Goofy is the one on this pen. Moving directly below, look at Pluto. Now he is in a legit pink bunny costume this time. Popping out of that gorgeous purple egg and surprising Mickey. Happy Easter 2001, and this is a limited edition of 3,500. Not super, super small, but it's a pin that I wanted nonetheless. Down below, we have this cute little jumbo pin of Thumper. It is from 2015. I wanted Miss Bunny, but I didn't get her yet. So by next year's Easter pin board, I will definitely have Miss Bunny to go with him because they are so stinking cute. And I love that they are in this egg shape. Going back over to the top before we get to the bottom, this is the cute little Bambi pin that I opened up in the um, couple's mystery packs. I loved all the flowers around it and you think sweet little deer, you think spring, and I definitely had to make sure that Bambi made an appearance on this pin. Moving down is this cute Mickey pin. I love how they have made the zeros into Easter eggs and that they're both a different color. I love all of the vibrant colors in the eggs that are in the basket and on the grass. Everything looks super, super pretty with this. The story of this pin, oh my gosh, I just forgot to mention. Mickey is an Easter egg. He is wearing a Easter egg as a costume. Can you get any cuter? 
This is a cast member exclusive that I traded for and it is a limited edition of 1000. The next pin is this gorgeous Alice pin. She is painting all of these eggs. You can see the dish there with eggs that are uncolored and the basket as she's painting them. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. This is from the Disney Studio Store Hollywood and um, it is a limited edition of 300. She is absolutely gorgeous. I love the way that they got her face just right. Some of these faces on pins, you just, oh man, you wonder what they're thinking, but I think hers is done beautifully. I love how full her hair looks, especially in front of the ribbon. Everything about this, the details are just immaculate in my opinion. These last three pins I have on the board, I fell in love with when I saw them. These are from Hong Kong Disneyland, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I just loved the stained glass behind them. Of course, they're egg-shaped, and I love that too. But I love the stained glass, and you know, anytime I see stained glass, it reminds me of beautiful churches and cathedrals and places like that. So when I saw these, I had to have them, and there's so many more characters out there, and I'm hoping to actually get all of them. They are just absolutely stunning, and I I cannot say enough about them. I'm hoping to have an actual board of all of the collection together. I just think they're so beautiful. I would probably keep this out like the entire time and have a board specifically just for them. So beautiful. Let's see if I can give you a closer up. I'll just pull the board up and make that a little bit easier. Here we go. So here is the Tigger one. It's got a lot of silvers and light blue and green and orange. I love how mosaic this looks. It's so beautiful. And there's a hidden Mickey at the bottom. Next to him we have Pluto, which I think is equally adorable. And it's got some green in here as well. It's so pretty. Oh, I just love Pluto. Isn't he so cute? And then the main man himself, there is Mickey, and he's got a lot of reds and yellows and whites, and it almost looks like above his head that there is almost a cross there. I'm going to take it. I think it looks perfect. I think it was kind of like a little hidden thing. Maybe, maybe not. It may not have been the agenda, but I think it looks that way. And so, of course, thinking of churches and anything with the stained glass, of course my mind's going to go there anyway. Take it as you will, but I definitely think all of these pens are absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, they all do have that hidden Mickey at the bottom in gold. They are absolutely stunning. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this pin board as much as I've enjoyed looking at it all month long. Let me know if any of these are on your grail list or if you already own some of these. I would love to know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!